All right, Cancer, here we go. Cancerians, the hot spot of the connection cycle. This is going to be a hell of a reading, let me tell you. All right, <clears throat> Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. This is Soulmate Energy's update for November 2022. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here, well, you found Steve's Love Tarot. You're here for a reason. Very militant intro, isn't it? Why is that? Well, I swim in the energy to pull these readings. It's a very militant feel here to this surface energy. When I sifted through it, I was like, okay. <laughs> really? All right. Sergeant Soulmate Runner got you. Sergeant Major, right? With the stick. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Sergeant Major is the name of our reading. I'd love to call it that. No one would get it. No one would click it. But there you go. Um, <clears throat> hopefully you watch the overview reading because you're all over that shit, Cancer. I'm not extending any of these sign readings. That overview is your November. I would pay attention. It's very important. Two of Pentacles in the pre-shuffle. Just the surface energy. Crossed by seven Pentacles. Mm -hmm. My sandwich is completed by Two of Cups. What is the, it tells me that the third card tells me what these are about. Okay? This is divine timing. The energy, all that means, it's fancy, right? The new age kids love the divine timing. Ooh. It just means the energy is right for something to happen. Okay? And we don't control the energy, so it's fairly divine. You know. Um, it's crossing the two of pentacles. Should I or shouldn't I is what this is in regards to this soulmate connection with you. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay. Then we move up a notch. The reason I called it Sergeant Major, right? I did all military. Why'd I do that? Well, I got the Six of Pentacles crossed by the Seven of Swords. We move from should I or shouldn't I to can I <laughs> or can't I, right? Should I or shouldn't I? Can I or can't I? Can't th can this person come in and get real? Can't this person's not even sure themselves if they can if they can say anything if they can speak it's almost like I always get this energy it's almost like when I you know someone who's in the public eye or something like that they're always worried about what they're going to say like politicians and shit like that you know they always watch what they say you know that kind of it's someone who's not sure they can tell you what they need to tell you uh, or just someone who's not sure if they can even be honest you know I don't know. Should, should I or shouldn't I? Can I or can't I? Underneath that is an ace of wands, a strong urge to do it. They come in and out on this. We know that from the two of pentacles, right? Underneath that is the six of wands. It's, they're still there. It's, this is a victory after the long battle energy. And what it means here in, on the surface energy, they're still there. You may not be seeing signs that they're there. You may think they're gone. Maybe you had a sign you saw every day that meant your person was thinking about you, but you haven't seen that in a while. They are still there, okay? The energy is still present. Why? Because it's fucking destiny on crack here, okay? It's their manifestation, and you don't get to say no when it arrives. The universe just keeps trying and trying. It's here. Here's your gift. Here's your gift. Here's your gift, right? You, it's just like that. It's just the same energy, same frequency of energy plays out in different, uh, plays out differently with different situations. It's the same kind of energy as re uh, m mistakes we don't learn from are doomed to repeat. And they just keep coming back and coming back. It's the same kind of energy. So that's where we're at. Sergeant Major Runner Soulmate. Should I or shouldn't I? Can I or can't I? Well, I don't know. I'm reminded of that line from the movie I think it's stripes I think it is but it's a famous line where you know he yells you can't handle the truth right it's like that I don't know if they can handle the truth I think it's more they're worried about telling you something they're worried about confessing something they're worried about saying too much uh, this is someone who's very guarded is the word I'm looking for maybe closed off a little bit Keeping their secrets close to the vest. If they let you in, it's a risk kind of a thing. It, it just feels like that with that Seven of Swords there. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's see where we go. This first card out is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? So why the fuck am I here at 8 o'clock in the morning? Good Lord. Why the fuck am I here? Is it 8 o'clock? Oh, my clock's broken. It's not 8 o'clock. It's fucking... It's fucking almost 11 o'clock. What the fuck's going on? My clock broke. My, my clock battery died. I actually thought it was 8 o'clock in the morning for a second. While we're here is... 
<laughs> That's fucked up. Why we're here is that Ace of Wands. Okay? Yeah. There's a new beginning trying to happen here. But it keeps blowing out. This is that energy of trying to light a cigarette in a hurricane. Okay? It keeps blowing out. The lighter keeps going out. The match keeps going out. But it flares back up. That's what I mean by they're still there. They haven't gone anywhere. You might not be getting any signs. I'm not even picking up any spying energy. It might be, but I'm not picking up on any of it. I'd tell you if it was there. After the cut is the Four of Wands. This, the universe keeps trying to give this person, this refers to the star card back in the pre-shuffle. The universe keeps trying to uh, uh, make this happen because it's their manifestation and it's, it, is, it could lead to ten pentacles. It's good for them. It's for the greater good. Right? They got the manifestation in the first place because it was for the greater good. You two had a soul recognition because it was for the greater good. So the universe just keeps trying. There's a new beginning trying to happen here. Something very stable and somebody keeps blowing out the match. Could I or can't I? Should I or shouldn't I? I uh, uh, uh. Fuck off. Let's go. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of cancer for November 2022. Oh. These readings have been hot. Gemini's reading was right up there with the Leo soap opera. My God. All right. Let's see where we go here. Let's see where we go. All right. Let's see. Background noise is crazy today. We got workers all over the place around here. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing my best. You'll have to bear with it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. You don't have to believe it. Okay, this is an eight of cups. It is both reversed and forward energy. We've been getting this Schrodinger's cat shit. All of the, I got it for Taurus's reading. I had to pull a Schrodinger's cat on Taurus's final outcome, just because of how the reading went. It's a little of that here. I don't have to pull a Schrodinger's cat here, but I can tell you that this card uh, slipped out of the deck. It went sideways when I stopped shuffling. So it came out reversed, but it's actually upright in the deck. So it's both. Reversed, it means somebody's coming back to you. Upright, it means somebody's walking away. Right? Somebody's, yeah, again, in, in what's fueling this? This might help. Yeah, the Six of Cups. It, it's exactly what, you don't believe me? The Six of Cups is someone from the past returning. Right? I told you. It's both reversed and forward. It, it's this person cannot, should I or shouldn't I? Can I or can't I? Uh, it really is. I'm not playing with you. The energy is what it is. Right here is the energy around your connection. Right here is how your person behaving in the 3D. Right here is their soul. Right here is the hidden energy. The message it's red with the message of uh, the message from the universe. It's red with the energy of the connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. All right. Uh, I will clarify everything and throw some universe cards at the end. Let's just see where this goes. All right. Should I or shouldn't I? Can I or can't I? I would like to smack them in the damn head. Okay, giving me a flip floppy eight of cups. Are you serious? Somebody from the past returning or not. Right? It's, uh, okay. I'm tired of having that song ring in my head. It's Istanbul, it's Constantinople. Say it is Istanbul. It just keeps going round and round with some of these fucking signs. Energy around the connection right now. Three of wands. There is. A chance in hell. I've told other signs this and I'm saying it. Three of Wands. The door is fucking open. The gateway is open. The flux capacitor is lit. All Marty McFly, the runner, has to do is not hit the fucking brakes. Okay? You need to stay at 88 miles an hour. We are at 88 miles an hour. The DeLorean is ready to go back in time or forward in time. Someone from the past is ready to come into your present. Right? So I guess forward in time. We could look at it as, as that way. It's ready to go. They just got to keep it at 88 miles an hour. We'll see what, what we get on that when we clarify. The door is open. They're still there. There's still a chance. I like this. How are they behaving in the 3D? I swear to God, I'm going to swear in a second. I know I am. The chariot. I'm not. I, I don't know why I would swear. Yep, the, the, the door is open. They're behaving in the 3D like they're coming towards you. So we're in a moment where they've decided to come towards you. I guess it's, this card represents the soulmate cycle. It's Cancerian themed. You're the host. You're Cancer. It's Cancer energy. They are coming towards you. 
this person is his forward movement its determination the door it backs up the fact of what I said here the door is open right now we don't know what happens because they don't tell us in back to the future what what you know it hits 88 miles an hour right and then the lights come on and then you go through time what happens if you hit the brakes just before that happens I don't know I'm just pointing it out because we got flip floppy energy leading up to this but all the energy on the table says the door is open flux capacitors lit we going back in time they are it, they have the intention to come towards you it is very strong there's a strong urge this is major arcana in the 3d affecting them pushing them do it do it do it right okay all right soul energy book ending the three of wands two of wands backwards see why did I say I don't say anything that's not in the energy I read the energy first then I pull the cards why did I say they didn't show us in the movie what happens if he suddenly hits the brakes and we're not doing 88 anymore yet the thing is lit what happens does a hole in space and time rip open does the DeLorean fall apart Do, does the driver die I don't know or does it just keep going because once it's lit it's lit I don't know and neither does the fucking universe and neither does your fucking person two of wands uh, I know the door is open. It looks tempting, but I'm back at setting the intention stage. This is someone here who's go who with where the spiritual awakenings, the Sesame Street Hierophant, as I call them, in the uh, all all signs monthly overview, is making the the spiritual lessons of the past year or more digestible, easy to understand, it's explained like Sesame Street, right? One of the, and this is the song from Sesame Street, one of these things just doesn't belong here. One of these things, you know, that, that one there, you're supposed to pick the thing that doesn't belong. Right? Well, they, that's what they're in the process of. That, that's what's in the soul energy. That song is playing in their soul. And again, it's, it's a real back and forth energy. All the way down to the soul. In the, in the energy of your connection, the, the door is wide open. They're there, they're standing there at the door. Hidden energy. It's read with the uh, message from the universe, separate from the reading, read with our flux capacitor here. Maybe the universe will tell us what happens if he hits the brakes right at that last second. I don't know. Okay. It, it, it kind of did. Okay. I, I, I could help the filmmakers there. Uh, you're fucked if you hit the brakes at the last moment. Uh, but, uh, Queen of Wands. <sighs> yes, just. It's just an energy of attraction. It's not fakey McFakerman. It's just they're so drawn to it. The, maybe it's the pretty colors, right? Is your person attracted to shiny objects, right? Like that, like Flem the parrot over here. I don't know. Uh, it's it's just it's so attractive. It is. It's it's pretty. It's nice, right? Looks like some kind of Native American thing put this together, and then inside is some magic. It's cool. I like. I would wear that around my neck. I like that. Uh, yeah, it's just an energy of attraction. There's a huge attraction here, but there's also someone who has to get real if they come in, and there's a worry attached to that. That's the fakey element, the Queen of Wands pretense, right? They're right outside. They're a rattlesnake right outside your door, shaking their rattle, secretly hoping you open the door, and you know, it's tough to explain, but it's. Yeah, I mean, there's a huge attraction to this. So, and that explains the chariot. What's the potential final outcome? Red with the chariot. I can only fucking imagine. You see, Eight of Swords. Yeah, I knew. I, I, that's why you heard the tone in my voice. You know, I'm not looking at the cards. I like to be surprised too. These readings would be boring for me if I knew what was going to happen. I mean, I read the energy, but sometimes the cards correct me or sometimes they verify. Um,. They're really in their head about this. They're still there. They're, but this this card is going like this. Back, they're coming back. They're not. They're coming back. They're not. It's Istanbul. It's Constantinople. Round and round and round we go. Whatever it is, it's soulmate connection. It's very fucking powerful. No doubt about it. I don't know where this is going. We're going to have to clarify it. They're thinking too much. That's what, the queen, that's what I was trying to say about the Queen of Wands. They're outside your door shaking the rattle, thinking too much. You know, it, it's it's attractive, but this person, this ties to that Seven of Swords up in the pre-shuffle. You know, can I? Should I or shouldn't I is fine, but can I? 
Is, is it, can I get real? Can, because in order to have you, they've got to be real. They've, they've got to be solid. They've got to tell you some things. They've got to let you in. I'll put it that way. All right. I'm going to clarify with the little animal deck because I'm, I'm going to keep this reading pretty powerful. Um, and I have to because this is some deep shit. Uh, let's, let's clarify. Why is the Three of Wands here? Tell me about the Flux Capacitor. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why? 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 Okay. Oh, Jesus. Wow. It's the devil. It's a goat with his feet on fire. Mmm. Mmm. It's... it's I have to take the Queen of Wands into consideration. It's red with this. I want to say it's obsession, but what's stopping this person from going through the door is, is, that, is that propensity to lie, to not let people in. It's, it's a demon inside them that they need to deal with. It's something they've carpet swept. It's something that was either core programmed into them at childhood, whatever it is. This is a very secretive person on some level. I don't mean to say it's not like CIA shit. But, I mean, it's someone who doesn't let people in. I imagine the people around them don't know the, the depth of the person. Yet, with you, they can be themselves. But it's those old tendencies, those old demons, those things that cause them to shut down and not let people in. Be worried about what they're going to say. Oh, I can't say that because then that'll disprove this lie that I'm hiding over here on this side of the stick. On this side of the stick, everything is great. Right? It's terrific. On this side of the stick is all the lies that this side protects. Okay? So that's going to play out differently for all of you. For some of you, it's very severe. For others of you, you know. Either way, you've got an emotionally imbalanced person because of that. What's on top? Five of Cups. Uh, it's. It, I mean, it is what it is. It's the sad horse, it's sadness, it's regret. I hate using the word regret because every reader out here on YouTube does. They regret it and they're turning around and coming back. Uh, you know, it, yeah, they regret it, but what it's trying to say is it, the energy of your connections here to teach them to look at this devil energy. Every time they don't let someone in, they let the devil win, they regret it. It's not just about you. Your connection is the cure, right? It, it's like that. Why is the Five of Cups here? Exactly what I just told you. The card of the angel, temperance. That's it. Your connection is angel energy. It's the cure for the devil. They're supposed to do this. That's why, as well, the universe keeps bringing it back. No, you manifested this. Here, it's perfect for you. Here, take it. That's why they can't go away. That's why they're still lingering around. That's why the energy is still there. Because the universe keeps putting it back. Putting it back. Putting it back. Now here's another chance, and another chance, and the devil keeps winning, but the universe is saying right now we're on the precipice of your connection, angel energy, canceling out the devil. And I said, your connection is angel energy, and sure enough, I pull the angel. There it is. Proof. Chariot. Why is it here? Why is the chariot here? Why, 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 why? Tell me about the chariot. What's going on here? Okay. <laughs> I was just about to say this card. I think I did. I, I, I may have rewind. I don't know. I, this card here explains a lot about this. You know, that attraction. Yeah. Uh, it, here it is again. It's the Queen of Wands again. Uh, there's a huge attraction. There's a huge draw. They're very attracted to you. you and I don't just mean your ass. Or your tits, or your dick chakra. I mean the very, oh, your handsome, you know, jawline or high cheekbones. I, I mean, there, you intrigue this person. There's something about you. There's something about you. I could just phrase it like that. There was a whole movie called Something About Mary, right? Something about you. They can't put their finger on it. You're not like them. You're not like everyone else that's around them. You're real. And again, there's that worry that they have to be real with you. But man, are they attracted to you. Right? It's, it's, you, you represent some kind of freedom to this person. How, how, what, what is this energy? You're, 
I think they settled for something in their life and you're exactly what they were looking for. The universe gave them the perfect manifestation. I think for a few of you, I think for a few of you, they were so low at one point and you do have a deep soul connection with them and you're close enough in age, right? And you're both here on planet Earth right now. I think for a few of you, not all, a few, the universe brought you two together when you, in, in a lifetime you weren't supposed to be together. In other words, it, it's sort of a break glass in case of emergency. And, and it got lucky that you guys were close enough in age and both here on earth at the same time. Because sometimes when we're not meant to be with a deep soul connection, right? We, we have deep soul connections. There's plenty of them. It just goes back many lifetimes. The, the more lifetimes, the deeper the connection, right? Uh, sometimes in this lifetime, for example, you might have a deep soul connection. You might be uh, in the UK, for example. You might be in the UK, you might be in your 30s right now, and your deep soul connection, however, is here, but they're in Japan and they're uh, three months old, right? You know, it's not coming together in this lifetime, but, they, but they're there, they're here, right? So it's, I think for a few of you, the universe got lucky and it just sort of broke glass in case of emergency here because of the energy I'm picking up. It applies to all of you, whether that's your situation or not. The energy I'm picking up is you're exactly what this person needs, okay? Your, the universe fulfilled a manifestation to perfection, all right? What's on top? And, and, and then there's no doubt, and that's why the energy is so powerful for cancer readings. Ten wands, yeah, it's a real burden. I believe it. I didn't know that was there. It's a real, everything, that just backs up everything I was telling you. You're heavy on their mind. They can't get rid of you. There's an attraction to come towards you. The energy of the universe is behind you. The universe is going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. I know. But they they got that devil there, right? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Six of Pentacles. Mm. It's hard for this person to be on your level. Um, your mission, your connection is here to put them there, to help them get past those demons, right? That they keep denying themselves things and shutting people out. This this propensity for pretense. Um, but it's it's hard because they have to come in and be real. Equal give and take is something foreign to this person. Okay, it, it, just putting it simply based on the cards. But that's the same energy that's here. It's a good way to phrase it. Two wands. Now we go backwards. We go from three wands to two wands. Ideally, those should be reversed. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. But, but, but we know why they're not. We know why they go backwards. The devil. All right. If this person would just take a chance on this connection, they'd be pleasantly surprised at what it brings into their life and how their life, how, it, how the two energies coming together would change their life. They'd be pleasantly surprised. I know they would. Uh, but they get in their head. And that's what they're prone to do. And fakey McFakerman always is. Right? Why is the two of wands here? Tell me about the two of wands. Let's go. Let's go. Don't make me shuffle all day. Come on. Seven wands crossing it. Lots of wands in the soul. Lots of fire there. Fire, fire, fire. Um, it's the affecting energy of the two of wands. I explained the two of wands already in, in the soul earlier. It's... They're scared. I, I, it's not fear in this. It, it's just they're defensive. Okay. There's a um, there's a defensiveness toward actually pulling the trigger here. Why? What's on top? Secrets. Again, it, this comes up for you a lot, and I catch flack from some of you cancers about this. Now, my person's not keeping any secrets from me. There's nothing I don't know. I mean, we, we banged for 12 hours and we talked the whole time. Well, first of all, that sounds pretty shitty in the banging department if you talk the whole time. But aside from that, um, nobody knows everything. Everybody keeping secrets from you. Everybody. From your mama all the way down to whoever it is you're banging right now. They're not telling you something. They're, nobody talks about I mean, it takes therapists, trained therapists, trained psychologists, psychiatrists, whatever months to get the simplest thing out of somebody, right? They, they know it's there, it's buried under a pile of shit, and you gotta dig for it. This person here, the reason they're defensive toward any of this going through this portal 
and dealing with this devil is because in dealing with the devil they've got to bring everything up from the depths and November is is why that's there it is it's forcing at least them to feel what's been kept under wraps okay and really look at it why is the high priestess here ten cups is my life real what are they what what is it what is it bringing up it's bringing it's showing them that they can have the real ten of cups it's also showing them that they don't have the real ten of cups this is a whole lot of fairyland energy especially when it comes up with a, a spiritual card like the high priestess there's a whole lot of fairyland here this person has to face reality you know, it, it almost, I, and this isn't your person, please don't think that the, it might be, but it, it probably isn't for 99.9% .9 of you. But it's a great example. You know, this is someone, the Queen of Wands, because it's come out twice, this is someone who thinks they're better, bigger and better than they are. They puff themselves up quite a bit. What I mean by that is it's similar, it's similar to... Uh, We'll, we'll take like an actor for example right they they're not a there's a difference between an actor that's a, a lead on a tv show or a big movie star and someone who just does the occasional walk-on role right and it this energy here is like the person who does the occasional walk-on role thinks they're fucking mel gibson or some shit they think they're the shit right they put themselves they walk down the street like the shit don't stink and all that kind of stuff it's gone to their head something's so that's my point Something here has gone to this person's head and, and they got themselves convinced of things because of stuff that they're not looking at within themselves that causes them to be that way. Usually, psychology tells us this is indicative of somebody who was picked on as a child. This often happens a lot like that. Or uh, their parents got divorced and didn't handle it properly. But usually, this is someone who felt ostracized in some way as a child. Okay? A little bit. And, and I'm not saying, again, that may not be right for you. I don't know. But you may not know about that. Because people that got ostracized as a child that now portray themselves as the shit don't tell you that they got ostracized as a child. They, 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 they keep that secret. They keep that pressed down. And if they don't deal with that, that can become demons. Right? It affects how they live their life in adulthood in a big way. All right? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Fakey McFakerman. Let's go. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. God forbid. You know, it could be it doesn't have to be like they got beat up in the locker room and shit like that. It's you know, God forbid you go to any school anywhere in the world that you're at least bit chubby. I mean, I remember my where I grew up, Jesus Christ. You know, uh, it's unreal. I mean, th those people got picked on like crazy back in those days anyway i don't know if the kids still do it today they probably do who the fuck knows but back when i was a kid if you were the least bit chubby or you had a weird mole or anything anything you would just psh, fuck out we're gonna pick on you you sat by yourself in the lunch room well as the queen of wands here it can be anything it really can but there is something this person's afraid to, to look at themselves let alone tell you but they have to can I, can I give to this? It's a real burden. Can I give equal give and take? It's tough for the Queen of Wands to do that. And she would cross in here too. Why is the Queen of Wands? I would watch this reading a few times if I were you. Because there's many layers here. I don't know what's going to happen with this Eight of Swords. But I do know what's going to happen with this Queen of Wands. Because it's right now. They fight themselves on it. Uh, the Five of Wands. There's a war going on inside your person over the month of November and that's probably because of the 1111 portal and the Sesame Street Hierophant making all of the spiritual lessons digestible there's a war going on inside them they're trying to fight this energy back if they can win if they can beat this demon they show up that's why temperance fell here because it means communication here but not in the context of by itself in this position this five of wands helps clarify that all right if they it, it, it's the epic battle inside this person you know, is this behavior going to continue or am I going to face all this? They have no choice but to face it. It's coming up. It's coming up. All of it. Everything, they, all those demons. Um, but those demons are what cause them to shut people out. To, to be afraid to, to get real with people and equal give and take. And talk about their life and talk about, you know, things that maybe they, they don't want to talk about. Things they were embarrassed about or things that happen. You have to open up. 
especially in a deep soul connection. And the thing is, because you have a deep soul connection with this person, the urge for them to do it is very strong. But that's confusing to them, right? You can see that you can see why it's ten of wands. It's a burden, you know. So the the urge to open up is strong because they feel like they can be like themselves with you, where with is with everybody else around them. They're kind of fake, fake. All right. So there's a war going on with that inside this person. So whether that's going to continue or not, what's on top? King of Swords. Yeah, there, he's holding the rainbow sword. I don't know if you can see it. It's a small card. He's holding the rainbow sword. Uh, there's that, that that king of swords comes up, comes up a lot uh, for your person, um, especially lately. He's the, he's my king of action. You know, will they or won't they? We're back to will they or won't they? We got a war going on. The king of swords. They he holds the sword of truth. They they know they know that this behavior is bad. They know it's causing them. It's red with the five of cups. They know it's causing them to be the sad horse regret and all that and they know that you're the angel now, they may not admit that they that's one of the things they probably don't want to acknowledge right you're you're you fix a lot of things this person you've shown them some things you've shown them someone that they never thought existed in fact for a long time they didn't believe you were real you know well you are <laughs> why is the king of swords here Seven of Wands again. This draws us back because this was the crossing card of the soul. This puts us back in the soul. Um, again, it's a it's a will they or won't they? But this energy here is why this why the King of Swords is here. This person does have the capacity to stand up and fight this behavior. They can beat these demons with the help of this connection. All right, they can. Let's so, but they get in their head. Final outcome is someone who's in their head, and we see why. It's red with the chariot and all the cards on top of the chariot. So the chariot, yeah, going in, determination, right? The energy of the universe is pushing them towards the soulmate connection. They, they are extremely attracted to it with the queen of wands crossing it for reasons I've already explained to you. But then they get in their head and that's when these cards come in. It becomes, oh, but can I give to this? Can I do it? Right? Just like what the pre-shuffle was saying about that seven of swords and the honesty. Can I? So why is the Eight of Wands, or eight, eight of Wands, I wish. Why is the Eight of Swords here? I think my Freudian slip let it go, you know, that it might turn to communication. It might get in their head. They might just snap with this King of Swords energy here. I don't know. I know this card. I can't even look at it because it keeps doing this energetically. I can't even look at it. It's making me fucking dizzy. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I was right. Bigger than the Eight of Wands. My biggest card of communication in the Minor Arcana, the Three of Cups. Uh, they're really, the environmental energy is they're really worried about opening up. The urge to open up is strong. Okay? Deep down, like I said, they know the truth. They're holding the sword of truth here. The universe is telling us that. Deep down, they know how they feel. Deep down they know that, that you could probably tell them something that would help them with something that's plagued them for years. You could probably take their problems, process them, and give them back to them as something that's workable. You probably could. You're a Cancerian. You're the cardinal water sign. Of that I have no doubt. Um, but they get in their head about it. Can't, again, it boils back to communicating, opening up, three of cups. The three is the flow of water. Can I do this? It's right here. It's a burden. It's heavy on their mind. Can I be balanced? What's on top? Ace of wands. Look at that. Look at that. It's hard. Again, it's red with the ten of wands. There's an urge to do it. It's really Schrodinger's caddy here. Because right here on one side, I got the urge to do it. I got communication. Why do I feel like I'm going to get the opposite here? I don't know. Maybe I don't, because Schrodinger's cat can be two live cats. But I've got here, it's, it's hard. That's why the match keeps blowing out. Back and forth, back and forth. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Oh, shit. You get this a lot. Oh, I like this. Love wins the day. That's all it means when it comes out as a final uh, message in my readings. Queen of Cups, the most love I could pull from the deck. But here's your problem. Before you get all, oh, Steve gave us a happy ending. Uh, yeah, that ain't my fucking job. Say no fairy tale. 
That's your person's problem. Fairy tales. Right here. Queen of Queen of Cups. Most love I can pull from the deck. She holds the Ace of Cups. She gives the full cup. Not like that King of Cups. A little stingy. This is why the Ace of Wands is here. It's why they're still here. There's a huge amount of love here. But this card is red with the Six of Pentacles. Right? She gives the full cup. Right? This, this would be equal give and take. It'd be kind of saying the same thing. But, can't, but, that's a, but this is here because of the Ten of Wands. It's a burden. But in another form of good news, the Ten of Wands does break to, a ten of, to, to, to an Ace of Wands. So it, it's a big loop here. It is literally as yet unwritten. It's up to this person. It's up to the epic battle they have going on when all the when the Sesame Street Hierophant brings up all the spiritual lessons in November. It can go either way. Okay? At the end of the day, though, this person loves the fuck out of you. You represent an energy I can hardly describe to this person. They... You, I could phrase it in many different ways and you'd have to take it and run with it. I, you blew their mind. Okay? This person is used to... Be, like energy attracts like energy. So if you're Queen of Wands, if that's how you were raised to be and you keep things close to the vest and all of that and you're, you know, you're sort of... You put out a pretense. These, these energies here are, are lies to help make... You know, to hide these energies over here. You attract people like that. So everyone around them is a, a king of wands, queen of wands type energy. Like energy attracts like energy. If, if someone's an asshole, you could probably bet that their circle of friends is asshole. That's why I don't go to parties that assholes invite me to. Because it's going to be a whole room of assholes instead of just one asshole. It is what it is. Um, you blew their mind. You're not like anyone around them. You're very unique. There's just something about you. It's the only way I can phrase it. And this is this could result in communication or this could keep blowing out. It could keep going around. It depends whether they, you know, get real with the messages with, with the demons coming up from the depths here in November. All right. Let's pull three cards from the universe. Let's see what else it wants to tell us. Give me three cards, universe. What do you want to tell me? Mm. I'm loving the new animal deck. We in love with each other. It's a nice deck. I like it. It's got its shit together fresh energy. It's getting all fueled up with all you guys' energy. It's got my energy on it from like a year. I've had it about a year. That's my theme song. Okay, three cards from the bottom. Taking us to the soul. Taking it to the street. Uh oh, anyway. Taking it to the soul. In this case, ten cups. Ten cups. So we, well, our eyes are drawn here like that. Ten cups. Two swords this time. Not two wands, two swords. Four swords and nine wands. Nine wands crossing two swords is the base energy. These are the ones, the forward moving energies. Oh, again, this, I'll just paraphrase here. Should I or shouldn't I? Can I or can't I? That is the question. All right? Shakespeare's question was to be or not to be. Cancerians in the soulmate cycle, their runner's question is sh uh, should I or shouldn't I or can I or can't I? You know, it, it, it comes out the same here. It comes out the same. Um, I will say there's one more message here. With the Four of Swords and the Ten of Cups, you represent something for this person. You've opened something up in this person. I'm drawn to the Lamb with the third eyelid. You've opened up something in this person. It's a spirituality. I'm not sure if they're like all of a sudden wearing robes and beads around their neck and walking around like some kind of guru. But uh, you've definitely made them think about some things and how they looked at the world. Okay? Uh, that's something that's very, very true. It's very healing. It's very nice for them. All right? So when this person shuts their brain down, also I know that their soul is on par with yours. Uh, they just get this Eight of Swords here. They get in their head quite a lot. This final outcome, Eight of Swords. And that's why we're in the predicament we're in, isn't it? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. That's your reading. Good luck.